In this video, I'm going to review how I made the bed frame for the back of my H3. This is to level out the back of my Hummer so I can sleep in it comfortably while camping. I'm going to use 2x6s to go along the width and length in the back. I'm also going to add storage underneath so I can store gear and hinge it so I can fold it up and still use my back seat when the bed is not in use. So to start, I'm going to cut two 2x6s at 42 inches each. These will run the width on the bed frame. I'm then going to cut two 2x6s at 24 inches each to run the length on the back half of the bed frame and then one 2x6 at 38 and 3 quarters inches that will run the inside width on the back portion for added support. Once these five pieces are cut, I'm going to screw them together using a number 8 3 inch coarse thread drywall screw placing three screws in each butt joint. I'm also drilling pilot holes to ensure the wood doesn't split while screwing it together. Now that the back half of the frame is screwed together, I want to place it in the back of the truck just to make sure it fits before moving forward. Alright, now that I know this part of the frame fits, I'm ready to cut the plywood for the top. It's also important while doing this to cut the plywood about an inch or so shorter so you'll have room to add the hinges for the top. I'm cutting this portion of the plywood at 42 by 25 and a quarters inch. Once the top is cut, I'm going to drill the holes to add the hinges. I'm using two 6 inch hinges on each side and 1 inch zinc plated machine screws to fasten the hinges to the plywood. I've also used a number 8 one and a quarter coarse thread drywall screw to fasten the hinges to the 2x6. Now at this point I should also add I did place a third hinge in the center because the frame needed a little bit more support. Now I'm going to cut another section of plywood at 42 by 18 inches. This is going to be the middle section of the bed frame. I'm also going to cut a 2 by 4 at 16 and 3 quarter inches. This will be a support for the back of the second section. And lastly, I'm going to cut one more piece of plywood at 42 by 16 and a half inches. This will be the last portion of the bed frame. Then I'm going to screw the 2x4 to the top of the 42 by 48 section of plywood using one and a quarter inch drywall screws. It's also important to leave half of the 2x4 uncovered so you have room to add the 3 inch hinge that will connect the third section to the bed frame. Once again, I'm just using one and a quarter inch drywall screws to connect the hinges to the 2x4. And now I'm ready to add the 24 by 16 and a half inch section of plywood to the hinges on the 2x4. Now I should also add, I was originally going to make this as one piece, but for ease of getting it in and out of the truck, I disconnected two of the hinges to make this a two piece bed frame that will bolt together once in the truck. To do this, I cut a third 2x6 at 42 inches and connected the 2x6 to the two hinges on the front of the 42 by 18 sheet of plywood. Alright, now that everything's connected and seems to be working, I'm going to add the third hinge to the center of each piece that I had mentioned earlier. This is simply to add more support to the bed frame and make the folding pieces a little more secure. Okay, so now that this thing is built and I have yet to figure out how I'm going to attach them, I'm going to go ahead and add the carpet. I'm just using an indoor-outdoor carpet I got at Menards. I'm using this carpet because I'm able to hose this off if and when it gets wet. The first thing I'm doing is stapling the front edge and then trimming the carpet to size, leaving a few inches overhang. Now I'm going to pull the back portion of the carpet over the back 2x6 and staple it. 
Now I'm going to flip this over, fold the carpet to the inside of the top, and staple it again. Next, I want to staple some carpet to the 2x6 that'll face out the back of the tailgate. Once again, I'm stapling the top first and then trimming the carpet before stapling the rest. I'm now going to follow the same process on the back section until both pieces are fully carpeted. Now it's time to connect the two pieces. I'm going to start by drilling three holes through the two by sixes that will butt together. I'm drilling one hole on each end and then one in the middle. To connect them, I found these threaded plates and threaded rods once again at Menards. I'm screwing the threaded plates to the inside of the first section. Then I put a washer and two bolts on the end of the threaded rods and secured the two pieces through the second section. Then I cut down the leftover ends of the threaded rods with the bolt cutter and tighten them down to ensure it held. Now let's take it apart and see if it fits. I'm putting the back section in first and then the front. Next, I'm going to connect the two pieces using the threaded rods. And that's it. Fold it down, make sure it fits. Now I also have storage underneath this piece. And then I have storage underneath here as well. And with it folded up, we have a nice little bench seat to sit out the back of the truck. Plus, when it's folded up, you can still use the back seat. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. If you have any ideas on how I can improve this project, please comment in the section below.